to my Twitch channel. I am Headphones Neil. Um, I am here to kind of kick off my Twitch channel that I've generally only used for watching other people play video games sometimes as time permitted. But with recent issues on YouTube as far as random copyright management notifications, blocking videos, um, no strikes or anything like that, so nothing great, and I'm not monetized over there, so no um, interruptions to money, money but um, for some reason lately on my playthrough for Knights of the Old Republic 2, they started blocking videos for some sort of copyright reason, but they don't explain what it was for. So I decided to start looking into streaming content in other places. I currently have it matching um, what I upload to YouTube over on Odyssey, but Odyssey has kind of been weird as far as being able to upload stuff directly there. I can't really check the quality and weird stuff like that. So I'm still playing around with that. But I got to thinking that there must be a way to easily stream content over to Twitch. So I did test a couple of games, notably Doom 1 for Android and Doom 64 on Google Stadia for Android. Um, a bit of side background there is I do a lot of gameplay on my Android device, so that's where a lot of that content is coming from, which is why I'm testing those games. The main issue with Doom 1 for Android is that I don't know if it's missing API support. It hasn't been updated in a couple of years, so um, changes in Android 12 are causing issues or something like that, but it doesn't record gameplay audio. Um, I've noticed the same thing in Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 when I try to st stream directly to Twitch or OBS and things like that, so I have a feeling in that it's related to a mix of APIs and Android 12 support. So when I go over to Doom 64 for Stadia, that works okay because I feel like Stadia is updated to support the APIs and stuff for Android 12. So um, I'm kind of limited to playing newer games um, as long as they've been updated and all of that. But um, I am planning on kicking off the streaming on Twitch by streaming my gameplay of uh, Doom Eternal. Um, because Doom 64 seems to work, that's why I feel like D Doom Eternal will work okay. Um, I am playing that on Google Stadia as well. Um, the only hiccup I had in my testing of Doom 64 was a couple of latency or random latency issues. It wasn't too bad, but I am going to test reducing the quality of the video down to 720p, um, mostly to see if that kind of resolves the bandwidth issues. Um, I do not ha currently have matching upload and download speeds, which is what I think is causing that issue. So it, when I finish testing that, I'll have that tested, and then this video is also serving as that test to make sure there's no latency, skipping, glitches, or anything weird like that. Um, so um, that's really all there is for that. Um, I am also planning on releasing videos as far as hot take reviews, video blog posts, and things like that via Twitch to YouTube. I figure since I already have the setup going for um, game streaming, I can do a similar thing for hot take reviews and things like that. So think of it like when I watch um, Kenobi, I'll do a quick hot take review, spoiler free, but um, essentially once I have some thoughts together, I'll get that review out. So if you want that um, quicker take rather than waiting for each week's podcast episode, then you will have that option to watch it. Um, to that note, the there will be no changes to the podcast, which can be found at headphonesneal.reviews. All the support and subscription options can be found there. So um, if you prefer that week-to-week -week option on demand and all of that, then definitely check that out. It's a weekly podcast where I review the news in Android, Star Wars, and random stuff that I've been watching. So as the first, um, or as an upcoming review in addition to a hot take review of Kenobi, I'm almost done watching Stranger Things Season 4, so I will be streaming, um, or I'll do a stream of that to do a hot take review of Stranger Things, um, Stranger Things Season 4 to let you know what I think about it, and then by the time of the podcast, I'll have my thoughts together for a more proper review. So that's kind of the changes that's going on for me. Um, 
If you do become a supporter on the show at patreon.com slash pateln01, some of these upcoming content changes and updates and things like that would be available for patrons only. Um, you would also get an ad-free version of the podcast versus the, versus the public feed, which does have ads from time to time. Um, so by su- supporting the show on Patreon, you not only get a ad-free experience, but I do provide from time to time um, co- bonus content, both quick bonus reviews, um, upcoming content updates and things like that. So this video that you see here or that you're watching right now would normally just be something that's on the, at the end of the podcast episode on Patreon. Um, this video is public over now only because I wanted to test the streaming option via the app I use to record called Dolby On. So if this works and it publishes how I'm expecting it to and the audio quality is on par with the um, podcast audio, then all will be set. But I wanted to get this out to kind of give an update for um, video changes, um, mostly because on the YouTube videos, I do upload those at uh, currently at 2K because that's the max output for my OnePlus 9 Pro on Android 12. Up to Android 11, it was recording up to 4K. So um, if you do watch my videos on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01, you'll notice that changeover. So you'll see that for the longest time I was doing 4K and then it went down to 2K. So that's kind of a bit of background there. Um, and then if you want to follow with me, comment a post and um, see what I'm up to generally, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. So um, with that out of the way, that's really all there is for this particular review. Um, I wanted to do this video just to see how long and how well Dolby On can handle streaming to Twitch. Um, as long as it's more than a couple of minutes. Um, I'm also making sure that the video that gets posted to Twitch is generally glitch free. The Doom video that I did, or the Doom 64 video was about this long and I didn't notice any major issues except for the latency, but I'll do one more test probably at, um, 720p of Doom 64 to see if the, um, latency issues go away and that works better. If it does, then I will do the, my next gameplay video in D, um, after that in Doom Eternal to see how well that translates over and streams to Twitch. So that's all there is for this video. So welcome to my channel. The username on Twitch is Headphones Neil, so you can check it out there. So follow and subscribe. I'm still getting used to how that stuff works. Um, I'll have a link in the show notes along with the show notes on the YouTube channel so you guys can have that cross-referenced as well. And then I'll have a quick post summarizing exactly what's going on with all the various links and all of that stuff. So um, thanks for watching this video and see you guys on the internet.